We start with breaking news this afternoon. The suspect in the deadly shooting at the University of Virginia is in custody. This is a live look from the grounds at this hour. Now take a look at your screen. This is the photo we have of the suspect. He is identified as Christopher Darnell Jones. Within the last hour, we've also learned three football players are dead and at least two other students are hurt after the shooting. Officials say it happened after a trip to Washington, D.C. for a field trip last night and the students were shot on the bus. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I am Jaffney Gray. We have team coverage working to bring you the latest information from authorities. First, let's get to 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett, who just got out of a press conference with officials in Charlottesville. Lindsay, we are learning a lot of details about Chris Darnell Jones, who literally was arrested during the press conference. Yes, that's correct. As we were hearing from uh, school and police officials, uh, that's when state police told the chief of police here in Charlottesville that Jones had in fact been arrested. So we learned a lot of information about the victims of the shooting. The call came in around 10, 16 p.m. last night. Uh, police say that three people have died. They were all UVA football players. Deshaun Perry and Devin Chandler were found dead on a charter bus. And the third victim, Lavelle Davis, was transported to a hospital where he later died. Two others were injured in the shooting. One is in critical condition. One is in good condition. But police will not share their identities at this time. We're told that it was a class field trip to see a play um, and that there were about 25 people on the bus at this time. And police are in the process of interviewing everyone on the bus. Now, police did say that they don't know a motive. And again, like I was saying, uh, we learned that Jones was in custody during that news conference. Take a listen. Pardon me. Thank you, Captain. We just received information the suspect is in custody. I just need a moment to thank God. <laughs> a sigh of relief. Jones is facing three counts of second degree murder and three counts of using a firearm in the commission of a felony. We did also learn that Jones had been brought to the attention of the UVA threat assessment team in the fall of 2022 for making reports that he was in possession of a firearm. And I'll have more on that coming up later on this hour. For now, live in Charlottesville and Lindsay Kennett, 10 News working for you. Lindsay, thank you. At this time, like Lindsay mentioned, we do have three other victims identified and we're still working to get the identities of the two who were hurt. Again, police did say one of the victims who was shot is in good conditions and the other is in critical. Now let's get to 10 News reporter Alyssa Ray. She is also a UVA. Alyssa, you've been working hard learning about the three football players whose lives were taken way too soon. Yeah, Jaffney, we're live outside of Scott Stadium where three members of the UVA football team were killed. It's a very somber day here, as you can expect, but we're trying to learn more about those victims. Devin Chandler, Deshaun Perry, and Lavelle Davis Jr. were among those three. Lavelle Davis Jr. is listed as a third-year wide receiver on the team's roster. He's from Ridgeville, South Carolina. This is a tweet from Sean Lampkin who says he's Davis's cousin that reads, saddening, saddening news this morning. God took one of the most kind, humble, loving soldiers off the battlefield last night. Please pray for my family as we're all devastated by the passing of my cousin Lavelle Davis Jr. Love and always miss you, kid. Deshaun Perry was also killed. He's a fourth year linebacker from Miami, Florida. His parents were heartbroken by the news. His dad saying, quote, I always told my son I love you and just keep working. I believe he let me know something tonight. I knew something was wrong. I love you, man. He's listed as a linebacker and a defensive end. Perry played Saturday against Pittsburgh wearing jersey number 41. The third vic victim we're still learning about, and that's Devin Chandler. He's a second year wide receiver and a transfer from Wisconsin. A reporter for the Badgers football reports that the team will not hold practice today following the news of Chandler's death. Jaffney. 
Alyssa, thank you. Obviously, a lot of reaction is happening on the grounds there at UVA, but the impact of this loss has been felt from all over. Let's bring in 10 News anchor Rachel Lucas here to tell us more about the statement some leaders have made about the shooting. Certainly a lot of sympathies, condolences pouring in, and we have been tracking social media all morning. We do want to share a few quotes with you this morning. Governor Glenn Youngkin just posted this statement on Twitter moments after the news conference wrapped up this morning, saying, quote, we had a horrific tragedy overnight at UVA. Lives were lost and families changed forever. Due to the di diligence and commitment of our law enforcement, the suspect is in custody. While there are still many details to uncover, let us lift up the entire community in prayer. Senator Mark Warner posted, quote, I'm thankful for the hard work of law enforcement in bringing the suspect of the shooting at UVA into custody. My thoughts are still with the families of the victims and the entire Charlottesville community. We must continue working to address the epidemic of gun violence. Senator Tim Kaine also saying, quote, very grateful to law enforcement for their heroic work to apprehend the suspect. I continue to keep the UVA community in my prayers on this tragic day. And other universities in the Commonwealth are also sharing their support. Virginia Tech President Timothy Sands said, quote, waking up to the tragedy at UVA, Hokies are here for you, who's this morning and forever. This is impacting the football community as well. Virginia Tech football coach Brent Pry said, on behalf of our entire Virginia Tech football family, we VA community. You have our love and support. We are here with you. Hokies for who's. You know, of course, this tragedy is sending shock waves throughout the community here in the Commonwealth and around the country, uh, you know, evident in that and just a few of those quotes that we, we read. We're seeing more and more reaction pour in on social media. We'll keep you updated throughout the day.